Our senses, they're more like a jigsaw puzzle, and a whole bunch of information comes in uh, with gaps in it, and our brains are filling in the gaps. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 common science myths debunked. For this list, we'll be going over inaccurate but popular beliefs about science. Do you know any other science myths? Give us your thesis in the comments. Oh, my head. The remorse of the sugar junkie. Oh. Number 10, a penny dropped from the Empire State Building. Hey, Lois, give me a penny. You're not gonna throw it over the edge, are you? No. Yes. <laughs> this persistent myth claims that a penny dropped from the top of the Empire State Building in New York City could kill a hapless pedestrian below. The idea is that because the building is so tall, the penny would pick up considerable speed. However, while it is potentially dangerous to drop even small objects on someone from high up, pennies are so light and tumble so much when they fall that they don't reach terminal velocity. It would still hurt you to get hit with one, but it would need much more force and weight behind it to lead to your death. Yeah, I mean, the worst thing I can come up with is if you were looking straight up in the sky and you got hit in the eye, it probably wouldn't be very good for you. But even then, I don't know whether it'd take your eye out. Number nine, blood is blue inside the body. Look at the veins on your arm. What color are they? Blue, right? If not, see a doctor. The sight of azure lines on our bodies has led to the erroneous belief that blood is blue inside the body. Some hold that it becomes red when exposed to oxygen, such as when it reaches our lungs. But this is incorrect. It's always red. The blood in our veins appears blue from the outside because of how light hits our skin tissue. You could say that this myth is only skin deep. Number 8. Sugar makes children hyper. There is! I'm about to drink my first soda! Better come stop me! Mmm, that must be the sugar. Oh god, that's good! Rupert, suddenly I want to run! Chase me! Parents everywhere have lamented that giving their children sugar makes them bounce off the walls with nervous energy. While too much sugar can be bad for health reasons, it doesn't hype kids up the way people think. The myth originated from a single study published in 1978. Multiple studies since have found that sugar doesn't affect children's behavior. Okay, we're young, rich, and full of sugar. What do we do? Let's go crazy Broadway style! In double-blind studies, parents couldn't tell which kids had been given sugar or placebos. Sometimes kids just like to run around and have fun. They're kids. They've got a ton of energy, regardless of what they've eaten. I see right here it says I shouldn't have given you sugar. Number seven, goldfish memories last three seconds. I, I suffer from short-term memory loss. Short-term memory loss. I don't believe this. No, it's true. I forget things almost instantly. It runs in my family. According to popular culture, goldfish have memories that only span three seconds, or some other figure that's incredibly low. However, while some fictional fish may have a hard time remembering what just happened, real goldfish have memories that can last significantly longer. Thousands of studies have been conducted for around half a century, and they all conclude that despite public perception, goldfish can remember things for months, possibly even years. Those kept as pets may even recognize their owners. So if we've known this for decades, maybe it's not the fish with the memory problems. Can they remember for three seconds? I'd wager, you bet, and a lot more. Number six, wait 30 minutes before swimming after eating. What you're seeing is not a reenactment. This is my real family, and they're actually drowning in my pool. I'd like to save them, but I've just eaten, and I know that I have to wait 45 minutes before I go swimming. Don't go swimming right after you've eaten, our parents told us. The general idea is that the blood going to your digestive tract will prevent you from getting blood to your limbs, potentially leading to drowning. However, while your body does send extra blood to your digestive tract, you won't lose so much blood from your limbs that they'll just stop working. You might get a minor cramp, but that's basically it. There's no need to wait the extra half an hour if you don't want to. Take that, Mom and Dad. But let's just say the pool boy is going to have his work cut out for him. Eating and swimming. Don't let it cramp your style. Number five, water conducts electricity. Wait, before you do anything crazy, it is extremely dangerous to mix water and electricity. But technically speaking, it isn't the water doing the conducting. In its purest form, H2O won't conduct anything. It's the minerals inside the water that do the conducting. 
Most water has some impurities and minerals within it, so it usually does carry a current through it. Word out. <laughs> But if you want to get technical, and we do, water itself isn't the conductor in this equation. In fact, on its own, water acts as an insulator against electricity. Uno reverse. Number four, the five human senses. Your senses help you navigate the world around you. It's how you know not to touch something hot. But it turns out our senses might not be as reliable as you'd think. Maybe your eyes are even deceiving you right now. Generally, most people hold that human beings have only five senses, sight, hearing, smell, taste, and touch, with supernatural abilities often purported to be a sixth sense. But humans have far more than five senses, depending on how you define them. Along with the usual five, there are also the sense of pain, balance, temperature, and orientation, with some adding even more beyond those. The big five are probably easier to rattle off simply because they're related to visible external body parts. Meanwhile, our internal senses are left unexamined by most people because they're not right in front of our faces or on them. Number three, humans evolved from apes. Let's get a few things clear. Humans are apes. We belong to the same family of great apes that also includes orangutans, gorillas, and chimpanzees and bonobos. However, while we share almost all of the same DNA, we didn't evolve from chimps, for example. We're on different branches of the evolutionary tree. What we do have are common ape ancestors. Our own branch first diverged from that of orangutans, then gorillas, then chimps and bonobos, which is why we have the most in common with the latter. But we aren't evolved from any of the modern apes you see around us today. Mr. Flanders, you've sworn to tell the truth. Can you say that this man could not possibly be related to that ape? <laughs> Number two, lightning never strikes the same place twice. Imagine being out there. <laughs> that last one sounded really close. Don't worry, lightning never strikes the same place twice. Where's Rachel? What's with Rachel? you? We've all heard the saying. While people often use this phrase to refer to something unlikely happening multiple times, it's also directly in reference to the weather. However, standing where lightning has already struck is an incredibly bad idea. In some cases, lightning is more likely to hit somewhere it has already struck. Skyscrapers, for example, are frequent targets of lightning strikes and can be hit multiple times in the same storm. While cartoons and other parts of pop culture often use lightning striking twice as a comedic impossibility, it's a very real danger. Lightning hit the same tree twice? It's a fable. Okay, just checking. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into settings and switch on your notifications. Number one, humans only use 10% of their brains. They've identified these receptors in the brain that activate specific circuits. And you know how they say that we can only access 20% of our brain? Well, what this does, it lets you access all of it. For decades, folklore would have us believe that we only use 10% of our brain's full potential. This is not only wrong, it's ridiculous. While pop culture suggests that using more of our brain will somehow make us smarter, more perceptive, or give us psychic powers, the truth is that we use most of our brains all the time. The brain uses 20% of a body's energy. It wouldn't be very efficient if only a tenth of it worked at once. So, if you want to think smarter, it's not a matter of brain power you need. 10% may not seem like much, but it's a lot if you look at all we've done with it. Did you enjoy this video? Check out these other clips from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.